Hey Virgo! Welcome to your May tarot prediction reading. I'm happy to be getting this out to you guys. Uh, so my normal disclaimer, all in the description box. Um, biggest thing, this is going to be a general reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. My only ask, take these messages as they resonate. Do not try to force them. If it's not connecting with you, that message just wasn't you. So take the bits that resonate, leave behind what doesn't. Uh, because this is general, I do recommend you watch the videos for all your signs. Your message may come from your moon, your rising. We are in a Jupiter retrograde, so even checking in with your Jupiter video may be beneficial. Um, so just feel free to watch what you're drawn to. But biggest thing, do not try to force it. Doesn't fit, not for you, all right? Go to the next one. <laughs> uh, similar setup as before, I have some Oracle decks, so we're gonna get little peeks um, into, into your month love and romance, personal growth, finances, and then we will get your main message from the tarot spread at the end. All right, so Spirit, what is going on for Virgos concerning love and relationships? She like snuck away, I felt that. Oh, all right. Oh, I put my, I put my cup over here, let me. Do a little shifty shifts. Sorry about that. All right, so my friends, we've got deception popping up. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So, good news I don't feel this is romantic. I don't think this is a romantic partner. Um, here, I think these are, this is just like, this could be a friend, this could be a coworker. There is a relationship somewhere where someone is being phony. She's showing you one, one self, but what's underneath that or behind that facade is not authentic, all right? But I don't think this is a relationship. I don't think this is a romantic partner. Um, I do think this is, this is a different relationship somewhere, but there is someone trying to pull the wool over your eyes and trying to get away with something or trying to take advantage of a situation that you need to be aware of. This person does feel... This person does feel like if she's unchecked and left to her own devices, she could cause some problems. Like this, like this energy feels real sneaky and... and I don't want to say malicious, this person's not going to attack you, but they definitely will take advantage if allowed the chance. So if, if this brings someone to mind, you definitely want to keep a very close eye on any shenanigans involving that person, all right? Hopefully that doesn't apply to all of you because I wouldn't want to wish you that, but be on, be on radar, Virgo. Just be on radar. If you have a reason to not trust someone, don't trust someone, okay? Spirit, who is helping Virgo as they move through this month and continue to, to evolve and grow personally, spiritually, all of the above? What support is coming to them? Ooh, this was another one. You guys got like a little, little sneaker cut. Beautiful energy for you. This is perfect. All right, so you guys have Mother Gaia, Earth Connection, Makes perfect sense. Here we are kicking off Taurus season. You are an earth sign. Here is your earth mother. Beautiful natural energy for you to tap into. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to earth. Stay grounded. Yes, for sure. Stay grounded. You know, and I think this has to do not only with this situation for sure, you know, but it's always good to kind of keep, keep connected and keep tapped into source. For you guys this month, I think that really happens by being outdoors. And you don't necessarily need to be um, like climbing a mountain or like you don't have to be, you can experience nature, you know, just go walk through a park or just walk around the block. Like take a moment just to be present in nature. But I will say that's the key. You need to be present. Like you can't like walk down to the beach, listen to your music and jam in. Like you need to like, be focused on the experience. And I always tell people when I give them this advice to be really grounded and connect to nature. Like take, like take a physical stop. Like as you're like walking through the park, 
or walking on the sand at the beach. Like, what does it feel like? What does it feel like your feet touching the sand? You know, the the heat of the sun on your skin, the feel of the breeze through your hair. You know, if you rest up against a tree, how does the bark feel? You know, how do you feel? You know, close your eyes and take a few really deep breaths and, and focus on the breath itself. What is it like to feel? Or what does it feel like to be here in this present moment, connecting with nature? Like you need to be present and bring some mindfulness to it. Um, not just, oh, I'm outside, so I'll feel connected. Like, no, you need to like disconnect, put the phone away, turn the tunes off, like just be present in nature. Honestly, I think that's gonna be a great recentering activity for you this month. So if things start to feel cray, or this starts to make you a little anxious, walk around the block, take a little, Take a little nature walk, reconnect. You know, and to me, this also includes spending time with animals. So if you have pets, go outside, play with the dog. You know, hang out with your fish. You know, sing to your bird. You know, like, I gotta just, if you have a pet, you can also connect that way as well. I say that Leo's like right next to me on the floor. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what is going on? at work for our Virgos. What's going on with work and finances for our Virgos? Oh, oh that was that was a nice clean one. Okay, in interesting. So you guys have Hierophant. So this is the Taurus card also. So could be dealing with the Taurus. It is Taurus season. So just may add some extra gravitas to the month. Um, Hierophant is a card of learning. And it's learning from, you know, external. So it's learning from, from experience. It's learning from tradition. Um, it's also a card of religion. But for me, I think this is really... This is really about learning. You know, you could be going through something at work and it's just, it's a nice eye-opening experience in a good or bad way. It's, this, this energy is kind of neutral right now, at least as, as far as what I'm getting. I, I wouldn't say it's good or bad. Like, there's just learning going all around. And it may be just because you're gaining experience or it could be because some of you are having good ones, some of you are having bad ones, but it just feels real neutral to me. Like there is an experience going on that you are learning from and growing from. Um, Hierophant is also a card of commitment as well. Because you think about religion, these are, you know, this, this tradition has lasted for centuries. You know, so there is an idea of commitment or a, a thought about commitment that kind of comes to mind. Which almost makes me wonder if you're questioning your commitment or if commitment is wavering. Um, when it comes to, this is going to be more for career, obviously. Um, but, you know, maybe maybe you're questioning, am I in the right spot? You know, is this the place I should be at? Um, yeah, it's, it's, I almost feel like a commitment check is coming. If, it's, if you're not already pondering it. Especially with the five, the five numerology is a number of changing and shifting. Um, a lot of times if you see like five, five, five on the clock a lot. Um, that's usually a, like a, for in as term in terms of angel numbers. That's usually a sign of, you know, you're going through something and it may be challenging or hard, but this is part. It, things are changing. It's not going to last. You know, it's going to be here for a moment and then move on. It's here for a reason. So don't think this is going to last forever. It's fine. Things are shifting and you are being supported. So I'm looking at this five, wondering still. Like, there's a. I, I just I feel like there's a commitment check. It's like. Is this the place you want to be or supposed to be? Why are you here? Are you going to stay here for much longer? If those are questions that are coming up and you truly don't know the answer, some of that may be because that's where you think this deception is lying. Maybe someone in the office. I don't know. Um, again, this is going to be how you connect. Go outside and take a moment and be present and mindful about the experience. That is going to help you. If, if truly you're looking at this and like, oh my God, I feel this is true. Like I definitely have those questions on my mind, but I don't know what the answer is. Go outside, reconnect to your source. All this earth energy right now, best way for you to process and connect. All right. So 
So, hilarious. I've been watching the bottom of the deck in the camera. Well, not watching it, but I keep catching that the, the Ace of Wands is staying on the bottom. So, I think, again, a lot of that, what is your desire? What do you desire? What is your passion? Because uh, I, I, honestly, I wonder right now if this is not aligned. Just, just throwing that out there. Spirit, what is the most important message for Virgo right now concerning the month ahead, the month of May? Five of Cups, the new bottom of the deck after cutting. I don't know, normally I don't look at that when I do it this way, but I felt like I felt like after showing you guys the first bottom, you were like, what's on the bottom now? What, let me see. So Five of Cups, mourning, loss. So I almost wonder if something happened, and I feel like this is past, but I almost wonder if the decision that this was made, like whatever decision this was, why we made this decision to be at this job, I feel like some of us maybe left another one for this one. I almost wonder if there's like a sense of regret or sadness kind of wrapped up in that. I don't know, just throwing that out there. But we're dealing with some type of unhappiness. Yeah, we are. All right, Son of Swords. This will be the Knight of Swords. Um, fast, very active. I probably out of out of the suits or out of the court cards. To me, this is this is probably the most active card. This is someone who wants to run, uh, wants to chase is in very heavy pursuit of understanding, of wisdom, um, just wanting to know and be a part of. But this is a very active card. So I think you guys really want to, <laughs> it's funny I said run, uh, but you want you want to, I don't, maybe run is the right word, I don't know. Um, definitely want to get somewhere. <laughs> I feel like this could be somewhere new, could be an experience, could be a place, but definitely wanting to know and understand a pool, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. You wanna get somewhere new, because here we are with the Ten of Swords. So wherever we are, not the most comfortable, not the most happiest. I don't think you're very content with whatever this is. For those of you who really were connecting to the work situation, yeah, they're, they're letting you have it, all right? They're definitely letting you have it. Um, if I can give you one silver lining though, the ten, hi, hi Kana. I don't know if you saw her nose poking in. Hi baby. Do you want to, you're not a Virgo, do you want to be in the reading? Mary, just, no. Trying to climb on the table. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey. You can sit by me a little bit. Hey. Oh, nope, now you're off. Go Chase, go. Um, if I can give you one silver lining, the fact that you got the ten of, the ten of swords, Great, because that means the worst is already over. You know, this is, the tens are always a, n a number of completion. So, I'm, I'm personally grateful for that. I hope you feel the same. <laughs> but this, to me, this is coming up as an ending. Like, the worst of whatever's gonna happen has happened. But again, it's, it's brought you to a place where now I want to do something different. I need to change. I can't stay in this energy anymore. Yep, so you go from the Son of Swords all the way to the Father of Swords. To me, the Father of Swords, so King of Swords, is foresight, it's vision. Um, it is a strategist, an analyst, um, but to me, it's about the foresight, it's about seeing the way ahead, you know. I think this is beautiful for you, because you guys are already very detail-oriented, you're very practical already. So it's applying that with this heightened sense of foresight, uh, so I know what this situation feels like. I know I don't like the way it feels. I know what I would feel good. So using that with the practicality side, figuring out your way forward. So this is you making your escape plan, literally. Damn, you guys are going to be good. Then you have the Father of Pentacles. So another mastery level card. You have another king. Um, but this, this is your earth element. A lot of earth coming through in this reading. But if that's your natural, natural energy. You're in Taurus season, you're getting connected to the earth, you are an earth sign, here you are with master earth energy. Well, well manifested, grounded, confident, stable, 
stable seems very key here. And it's funny because you have kind of a juxtaposition too because the, the Father of Swords, very active card as well, not as active as, as the Sun. But this can be kind of an unstable energy too. Well, maybe unstable is not the word, but it can be a little radical. Let's put it that way. This can be a little more radical where this is definitely much more practical. So you kind of have a juxtaposition there. But I think that's really speaking to this shift. Like there's a need to change things up and do things differently and pursue a new way of thinking, but you're going to do it your way in a very practical, grounded, methodical method. You're not just going to like react and, and bolt. That's what this energy would do. But since you're coming up with the kings, there's a, there's a higher level of mastery there with those, those energies. Beautiful. And then we get the world card completion. So I told you this 10, you're done. You're done. And you finally wrap it up. So beautiful. I'm so glad the world kid. Yes. So beautiful. So happy the world card came up. And then you have the 10 of cups, the happily ever after. Beautiful. Beautiful. So there is light at the end of the tunnel. You're dealing with some things now and I'm sorry about it. But again, you are going to see the way out and it's going to be very methodical, very in tune with your energies, Virgo. Once you can get yourself out of here and really wrap up this, you know, BS, whatever it is, you are on your way to your happy ending. You're in this process. I think a lot of you are in this process of finding what that means, what the balance is, you know, and it could be, honestly for you guys knowing, you know, just naturally what the Virgo, you know, likes are. This could be very multifaceted. It could be about balancing work and home and family. It could be about, you know, having a different position or finding that dream job, you know, or even dream family life. I can put it that way too. You know, it's, and it could even just be about a structure on how all of this fits together. You know, so I feel like this is probably a multifaceted. There's a lot of pieces to this puzzle. Um, and it's gonna take a very strong mind and a very practical sensibility to achieve this. Both of them you are in possession of right here. So we're getting you out of this funk, leaning on those practical, organized, methodical methods of yours to bring about your happy ending. All right, beautiful. I'm gonna wrap your reading up there. Again, if things start to feel crazy, Go ahead and connect with nature. That's gonna be that's gonna be your your restabilizer if this starts to feel too much. Step outside, play with your animals. That's gonna be your reconnection. And then just remember, you're bringing some mindfulness to it. Don't do it just because. Oh my God, TC, the guiding chariot said to go walk around. So I'm walking around. Like bring some mindfulness to it. That's gonna to help to bring you back. All right. All right, my lovely Virgos. I'm gonna send you out there. Take care of yourselves this month. Take care of business. You can do it. I know you can. Um, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching this video, joining this community. If you're not already, please subscribe. Thank you for all the likes, comments, subscriptions are all amazing, especially the comments. I love connecting with you guys. If you have anything to share, questions for me, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. You can DM me on Instagram at The Guiding Chariot. And as always, if you want to book a private session, all that info will be in the description box. Take care, my lovelies and I will see you in your next video. Bye.